How's it going guys? I'm sitting here with Gavin Edwards. He's been su suggested like three times for these senior spotlights. So uh, we're going to ask him these, these questions, get out of his hair. So it'll be a good time. So Gavin, what, is, uh, what are your goals in the next 10 years, you think? Uh, my goals would be to have graduated law school by then, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> by then, I'm hoping to work for maybe Monsanto or for some other big agriculture company. Um, I've already talked to Growmark a little bit. Uh, I'd like to be in their law division and try to help out the smaller guys by working in a bigger game, by um, maybe being the voice of reason instead of just demolishing farms to make way for the big products just kind of helping out the small time farmers and you know give them a say because the United States was built on the common folk I'd like to help them and give some back it's a pretty pretty in-depth thing dude that's nice all right um, so you have all those goals and whatnot and you know what you want to do but uh, what motivates you to accomplish those goals uh, what motivates me is basically <laughs> the main re the main way I've been getting going with these goals is uh, by looking at how much money I owe for college. Uh, the last like three days I've been racking up the expenses and got to make up like ten thousand dollars in the next like four months so I've been filling out scholarships basically till midnight every night and it's really pushing me because like I said I really want to do this someday and help out those people and you know be the difference in the world. It's a man with a plan right there. All right. Um, so if I asked any of your teachers to describe you, what do you think that they would uh, describe you as? Uh, I think they'd describe me as lazy and second rate, but I talked to Mr. Asmus the other day and he says I'm actually like a pretty good student, pretty driven. Um, I never knew this, but uh, you know, I would like to think that I'm a hard worker most of the time and that I want to get my stuff done. Um, I try my best to keep the Ag chapter going and I try my best to keep with my sports affiliations. Uh, wrestling this year was kind of tough because we only had a team of like nine people, but I think we pulled through and did really good this year. Nice, man. All right, so uh, what has been your favorite high school memory? Um, my favorite high school memory is probably got to be freshman year when me and uh, Colton Cindy were walking through the hallways and we were joking around with each other. And he turned around trying to scare me by punching me in the face like a few inches away instead he hit me right in the nose and my nose wouldn't stop bleeding for the next like five minutes. I was uh, late to physical science class and uh, a whole bunch of students were like, dude, did you get into a fight? Did uh, you beat the crap out of him? And I was like, yeah, uh, no, just uh, just got accidentally got punched in the face. Okay. And so, and along with that, it was really funny because Mr. Asmus came in, he's like, I followed the trail of blood and I found you. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. So, <laughs> All right, so... Uh what advice do you have uh, for future seniors and or freshmen? Uh, some advice I'd have is probably just go for whatever you can. Um, don't be timid because if you're timid about it, it's you'll have a terrible high school experience. Do as much as you can. Um, like for instance, this year I did football. I had a great time with my friend Jacob, Keith, Rhett. It was a great senior year. I loved all the seniors this year. It was great. Uh, wrestling was really fun, and then even this year I uh, went out for the play, and I even made a whole bunch of friends there. Um, it's just if you don't do a lot of that stuff, it's going to be terrible, but if you do as much as you can and have good time management, you'll have the best high school experience you probably could ever ask for. Dude, nice. Good advice. All right, so uh, what do you think the biggest trend was this year? I'd say the biggest trend, especially around football season, was instead of saying my bad, saying my B. Uh, I remember Coach Hancock made us run many sprints because Brendan Day would always say my B if he didn't catch a ball. So I'd say that was probably one of the biggest trends of the entire year. <laughs> all right. That's all the questions we have for the, those. So um, who do you think should uh, be the next senior spotlight, Gavin? I'm going to go with uh, Keith Hickenbottom. He needs to do this. Good one. All right. That was a, that was a sick interview, Gavin. Thanks for that. Thanks, man. So uh, we'll see you next time with uh, whoever we grab. See ya.